Why should you eat more ginger? Ginger is one of the most important spices in Southeast Asia. Some dishes just aren't complete without its sharp taste. It's closely related to turmeric and cardamom, so you can tell how important it really is. It can be used fresh, dried, powdered, or even as an oil or juice, but it's not just for taste. It can also benefit your body in a lot of ways. For starters, ginger has always been associated with traditional and alternative medicine. In fact, it can aid in digestion, reducing nausea, and help fight the flu. Its unique flavor and fragrance is because of gingerol. This is the main bioactive compound in ginger, as it's responsible for all of its medicinal properties. It has very powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects on the body. If you're pregnant, then you should basically be best friends with ginger. It's highly effective when it comes to fighting nausea. Ginger may help with chemotherapy-related nausea and even pregnancy-related nausea. A review of 12 different studies showed that 1.1 to 1.5 grams of ginger can significantly reduce symptoms of nausea. However, you should consult your doctor before taking large amounts of it, especially if you're pregnant. Another one of its benefits is that it can help with osteoarthritis, which causes the degeneration of the joints in the body. A review found out that people who used ginger saw a reduction in their joint pain and disability. The only side effect was that people didn't like the taste of ginger and decided to opt out. There have been new studies that show ginger might have powerful anti-diabetic properties. In 2015, a study of about 41 participants with type 2 diabetes showed that just 2 grams of ginger powder per day lowered their fasting blood sugar by a whopping 12%. That's not all, though. It also reduced their hemoglobin A1c, which is a marker for long-term blood sugar level, by 10% over a period of only 12 weeks. There was also a 28% reduction in apolipoprotein B, apolipoprotein A to I ratio, and a 23% reduction in malondialdehyde. Both of these hard-to-pronounce names are a byproduct of oxidative stress, and high levels of these products are a major risk factor when it comes to heart disease. Even though this is just one small study, these results are more impressive than anyone expected. Most spices cause indigestion or heartburn, but surprisingly enough, ginger doesn't. In fact, ginger has been linked to speed up the emptying process of the stomach. This is especially beneficial for those who have chronic indigestion. This condition causes recurrent pain and discomforting the upper part of the stomach. People with indigestion issues were given ginger capsules and some were given a placebo. Then, an hour later, they were given soup. Those who took the ginger capsules had to empty their stomachs in only about 12.3 minutes. The ones with the placebo took about 16.1 minutes. It's a difference of about a few minutes, but it's a big deal. In conclusion, ginger is loaded with nutrients and bioactive compounds, so much so that it's considered a superfood. Try incorporating it into your diet and you might just see an improvement.